one of the things that I'm designing by the Spirit of God now is a ministerial model for koinonia that to become a minister anywhere across the globe koinonia global these are the standards that you must keep non-negotiable prayer standards fasting standards word standards leadership standards development standards if you cannot go through this unfortunately it doesn't matter who you are you are for, you are short of the standard so that at every point you can standardize impact huh whether it is us uk whatever that anywhere you know that there is a certain threshold of spiritual impact you will not fall short of please go back to your altar get the word go back some of you you have not finished one book of the bible this year one not even jude not even jude you are not even aware that you can finish jude it's bad it's bad i owe you to teach you it's bad i'm telling you if no one has told you it is bad and it is evil if you are a pastor what are you teaching then do you know you can't teach in ignorance oh you need high level intellectual and spiritual knowledge you need to join two of them together Give me oil in my lamp. Let my light never be dim. Keep me burning, keep me burning. Until the coming of the King. Give me oil in my lamp. Let my light never be dim. Keep me burning, keep me burning. Until the coming of the King. Take one minute to blast in tongues and say, Father, fire from heaven, let it fall upon me. Fire from heaven, fall upon me. Word study fire, prayer fire, fall upon me. Please go ahead and pray. For as long as he sought the Lord, the Lord made him to prosper. Oh, there's no arriving in God, no arriving. Ever hungry, ever passionate, ever hungry, ever passionate. In the midst of exploits, still striving for more. In the midst of great things, still pressing for more. In the midst of mighty things, refusing to be distracted by results. Oh yes, oh yes, oh yes. No settling in the name of Jesus Christ. Vibrant spiritual life. Vibrant spiritual life. Are you still praying? Prime your hunger. Come on. Prime your hunger. Prime your hunger. Prime your hunger. Multiply your dissatisfaction. In Jesus' name we pray. This message by Apostle Joshua Selman really touched me, and I decided to share it with you. Please, if you consider the message valuable, then like and share. Do well to drop your opinions in the comments section. But I have a bonus tip for you. Before you swipe past this video, listen to the remaining part of this video. What's the one thing holding you back from living the life God has called you to? I bet it's fear. Fear that whispers, you're not enough, you can't do it, you'll fail. But what if I told you, God never intended for you to live in fear? In fact, he has given you everything you need to overcome it. Today, we're going to talk about how to break free from the chains of fear and walk in the boldness that God has already placed inside of you and it all starts with one thing, faith. Let's dive in. Fear is something we all face. It can be paralyzing, overwhelming, and even make us doubt God's promises. But here's what we need to understand. Fear is not from God. 2 Timothy chapter 1 and verse 7 says, For God has not given us a spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of a sound mind. Let that sink in for a moment. Fear is not your identity. Power, love, and a sound mind are. Fear doesn't get the final say in your life. 
God's power does. I know some of you are watching this right now feeling like fear has gripped every area of your life. Fear of failure, fear of rejection, fear of the unknown. But here's the good news. Jesus is greater than your fear. When you feel anxious or afraid, you're not meant to carry that weight alone. In fact, Jesus invites us in. Matthew chapter 11, verse 28. Come to me, all you who are weary and burdened, and I will give you rest. Fear can weigh you down. It can make you feel like you're carrying a burden too heavy to bear. But God is saying, come to me. Give that fear to me and I'll give you peace. When you put your trust in God, you start to realize that he's bigger than your fears. Isaiah chapter 41 verse 10 reminds us, Fear not, for I am with you. Be not dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you, yes, I will help you. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. God is literally promising that you don't have to do it alone. He's holding you up even when the fear feels overwhelming. What if, instead of focusing on your fears, you started focusing on God's promises? Practical Steps to Overcome Fear So, how do we practically overcome fear in our daily lives? Here are three key steps. Number one, meditate on God's Word. The Bible is full of promises that combat fear. One of my favorites is Joshua chapter 1, verse 9. Have I not commanded you? Be strong and courageous, do not be afraid, do not be discouraged, for the Lord your God will be with you wherever you go. Read scriptures like this daily, remind yourself of God's truth, and fear will lose its grip on your heart. Number two, pray boldly. Prayer is not just asking God for things, it's an exchange. When you come to God in prayer, give him your fear and receive his peace. Philippians chapter four verses six to seven tells us, do not be anxious about anything, but in every situation, by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, present your request to God. And the peace of God, which transcends all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. Number three, take action in faith. Fear tries to freeze you in place, but faith moves you forward. Whatever God is calling you to do, do it despite the fear. That's where real courage comes from. Not the absence of fear, but moving forward, through it with the strength of God by your side. In conclusion, listen, I don't know what fears you're facing right now, but I do know this. God has already given you the power to overcome them. You don't have to live in fear anymore. You can live boldly, confidently, and courageously because God is with you. Remember Romans chapter 8, verse 31. If God is for us, who can be against us? So, don't let fear have the final word in your life. Instead, let faith rise up. Let God's promises lead the way. If this message has touched you, don't keep it to yourself. Share it with someone who needs to hear it. And don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell for more content that will strengthen your walk with Christ. Let's break free from fear together.